This is a ring bolt hitch around a wooden ring. This makes an ideal light pole for a bathroom. I've made a few of these in my time, but I've only recently learned how to make a neat invisible finish to the hitch. For this I have to thank Miko Snellman of the International Guild of Knot Tires, who has an excellent YouTube tutorial on this ring bolt hitching. Here's the wooden ring I'll be hitching around. I'm using two and a half metres of paracord for this and I'll attach a lacing needle to my working end. Tying this without a needle is almost impossible. Pay close attention to how the hitching is started. Once started things become easier as all that's required is lots of repetition. I'll leave about six inches of cord protruding at the standing end. The standing end is the end of the cord that we leave alone for the time being. The process that's repeated from now on is this. First, take the working end around the ring and thread it through the hole in the middle. Now thread the working end from the top through the cross that was created previously. That's it. Repeat that until you've almost covered the whole ring. One thing you'll find when tying this is that you'll regularly need, regularly need to take out the twist that accumulates on the working end. What I find easiest to do is simply let go of the working end and let the, un let the cord untwist as I hold it above the floor. The lacing needle gives it a bit of weight. Once I've almost covered the whole ring, I need to finish it off neatly. In the past, I simply took the two ends and tied some kind of simple knot to tie them together. However, as I said earlier, Miko Snellman shows a really neat way of finishing the hitching. So, here goes. Take the working end around the ring as you did before and thread through the hole in the middle of the ring and just leave that alone for now. Pull the standing end out from the loop it was initially passed through. Lay that standing end next to the working end as shown in the video. Now pass the working end, that's the one with the needle attached, up through the loop that the standing end used to go through. Take the working end through the last cross that was created. Almost there. Now watch the video closely to see the final push at the working end. You might need to watch the last minute or so of the video a few times to get the hang of finishing off the hitching. How to finish things off from here? 
Well, the simplest way is to just tie an overhand knot to join the two ends of the cord. You might tie a lanyard knot perhaps, or how about our trusted friend, a Solomon bar? Probably one of our more ambitious projects, but it's worth the effort because it's a very pleasing article when finished. I've got one as a light pull in my bathroom. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.